Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a bit shorter as things are pretty hectic right now. So I'm just going to start out with some updates about the WWEC. As of right now, we're open to visitors between Friday through Monday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. We're not open for lessons yet, but hopefully soon. I predict probably mid-February. Things have been running really smoothly, and potential staff applications may also come out around the same time as lessons, but I'll keep you guys posted. But everyone has pretty much settled and gotten in the routine of things. And just the other night, I finished up the feed schedule and orders, which will definitely be helpful. And the rest of this video is basically just going to be a training vlog. <laughs> Before I get into the whole training thing, I wanted to introduce a new or familiar face. So this is Pearl, and I think you guys might recognize her. She is an 8 year old Andalusian Dutch Wormblood cross mare. You guys most likely recognize her from my lesson horse shopping vlog. She was in turnout with one of the horses I tried out, Coffee, and she caught my eye. And I ended up taking a few pictures and showing Emma when I got back to the WWEC. And she's not my horse, she's Emma's. And we looked over at Moreland's website and apparently she was for sale. So Emma went over for a test ride and purchased her the next day. Pearl's a personal horse, so she won't be used in lessons at all. But I did film a bit of their first ride here at the WWEC, so here it is.
So the first horse I started my day off with was Dea. She's progressed a ton over the past few weeks and knows how to lunge and follow properly, which is amazing. She's almost got enough muscle built, so today was the day that she would have someone on her back for the first time in a while, which was super exciting. I started off by just lunging her out just to get some energy out of her and warm up her muscles. She's perfected her balance and energy and her trot and responds really well to all of my voice and line commands. While she has a very balanced left lead canter, she has much more trouble on her right lead, getting into it and keeping the lead, etc. After about five minutes of lunging, I threw a bridle on her. I decided against a saddle since, for one, we didn't have a saddle fitted for her yet and we really didn't need any of the extra weight and I trusted her enough and she knew me well. So before I actually got on, I put pressure on her sides, jumping up a bit, but not actually mounting. So she kind of got the idea. Um, then I mounted and dismounted a few times and she was perfect and didn't move a muscle. So I finally fully mounted her and walked around the ring for a bit, getting her used to my commands and seeing what she was comfortable with. After a bit of time, she softened up and dropped her head. She clearly was more into leg aid than rain aid, so I kept nice loose reins, and I trotted a tiny bit, barely even a full lap. She was properly balanced, but I really did not want to overwork her.
after I cooled Daya off and put her in turnout, the next horse I was going to exercise was Abel, who, if you guys don't know who he is, he is one of my ponies, and he's amazing. I love him. He's a three-ringer, and he just, he's the best. But I tacked him up, and I wanted to ride him to another outdoor arena, which was just a five-minute hack away from the WWDC, and it was public. And this was because the jump setup in the other arena were more his forte, and I was also too lazy to set up any different jumps in the WWEC outdoor. There was a little hunter course set up there, and Abel was amazing. Very bendy and flexible as usual. He did perfect during the short arena warm-up we did, and jumped even better. Anyways, I know it was a shorter video, but I promise there will be exciting updates next time. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, and I am so grateful for all of you guys and all of the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!